listening test. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you'll have time to check your work. Part one. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Question one. Where did Gary go on holiday? Hello, Gary. Where did you go on holiday? I spent three weeks in London. Oh, I thought you were going to Paris or Pisa. Maybe next summer. Now listen again. Where did Gary go on holiday? Hello, Gary. Where did you go on holiday? I spent three weeks in London. Oh, I thought you were going to Paris or Pisa. Maybe next summer. Two. Who is in the photograph? Hmm. <laughs> I love this photo. Isn't it great? Even my dad's smiling in this picture. <laughs> When was it taken? We went on a day out. Mum, Dad, my brother and me, and I was allowed to invite my best friend Cassie. Having her with us just made the day really special. Where was your mom? She went off to put more money in the car park machine when we were taking this photo, and of course my brother was the one who took the photo. I think he did a great job. Now listen again. Who is in the photograph? Hmm. <laughs> I love this photo. Isn't it great? Even my dad's smiling in this picture. <laughs> When was it taken? We went on a day out. Mum, Dad, my brother and me, and I was allowed to invite my best friend Cassie. Having her with us just made the day really special. Where was your mum? She went off to put more money in the car park machine when we were taking this photo. And of course, my brother was the one who took the photo. I think he did a great job. Three. What homework does the girl have to do tonight? Have you got much homework? I've got some art. I have to draw a vase or something like that. I think it doesn't have to be handed in till Friday, so I can do it on Wednesday night. My history essay has to be in tomorrow, though, so I'd better finish that this evening. Oh, and Mr. Havelock set us some maths homework today and gave us a week to do it, so no need to do that until the weekend. Well, good luck with it. Thanks. Now listen again. Have you got much homework? I've got some art. I have to draw a vase or something like that. I think it doesn't have to be handed in till Friday, so I can do it on Wednesday night. My history essay has to be in tomorrow, though, so I'd better finish that this evening. Oh, and Mr. Havelock set us some maths homework today and gave us a week to do it, so no need to do that until the weekend. Well, good luck with it. Thanks. Four. Where did the students go on their school trip? That was a great school trip. There were so many different animals. Yes, I love dinosaurs, but even I got a bit tired of looking at bones after an hour on the trip last year. I agree. At least this time they were alive. Yes, and it's so nice to see creatures from all over the world. I'm glad the teacher didn't decide to do what she'd originally planned and go to the farm. You see sheep and cows all the time around here. You do. Now listen again. 
That was a great school trip. There were so many different animals. Yes, I love dinosaurs, but even I got a bit tired of looking at bones after an hour on the trip last year. I agree. At least this time they were alive. Yes, and it's so nice to see creatures from all over the world. I'm glad the teacher didn't decide to do what she'd originally planned and go to the farm. You see sheep and cows all the time around here. You do. Five. Which present has the boy already bought? Hi, Sarah. It's Max. I need to talk to you about Dad's birthday present. I know you said you wanted to get him some chocolates. I hope you don't mind, but I saw some boxes of the ones he really likes on special offer in that shop near the school, so I just got one. Why don't you buy him the cookery book that I was going to get him instead? It probably costs about the same, and he'll like that more than socks or whatever we usually get him. Now listen again. Hi, Sarah. It's Max. I need to talk to you about Dad's birthday present. I know you said you wanted to get him some chocolates. I hope you don't mind. But I saw some boxes of the ones he really likes on special offer in that shop near the school, so I just got one. Why don't you buy him the cookery book that I was going to get him instead? It probably costs about the same, and he'll like that more than socks or whatever we usually get him. That is the end of part one.